welcome aboard all the aeronauts out there. This is my first video on the channel. I will try to explain aviation stuff to the best of my level which you find difficult generally. Many of my friends and colleagues suggested me to create videos of the stuffs I teach them and share those in order to share the knowledge and information to the aviation community. I would try to buy some time from my schedule to make informative videos and would try to be very active on the channel to keep on sharing knowledge. Any suggestions, corrections or queries would be welcomed and please feel free to comment down below to ask any question or doubt which is bothering you. Or if you like this video and if you want me to make some more videos on the subject and topics of your choice, then also your suggestions would be welcomed. So stay connected and subscribe to my channel for future videos. In today's video, I am going to introduce manuals of Boeing 737-NG and explain about it. So let's start. The primary manuals of Boeing 737 are provided as FCOM, which is Flight Crew Operations Manual, FCTM, which is Flight Crew Training Manual, and QRH, which stands for Quick Reference Handbook. So first, we are going to talk about FCOM. As we learned earlier, FCOM stands for Flight Crew Operations Manual. Purpose of this manual is to provide the necessary operating limitations, procedures, performance and system information the flight crew needs to safely and efficiently operate the 737 airplane during all anticipated airline operations. FCOM also serve as a comprehensive reference for use during transition training for the 737 airplane. To serve as a review guide for use in recurrent training and proficiency checks to provide necessary operational data from the FAA approved airplane flight manual that's AFM to ensure that legal requirements are satisfied and to establish standardized procedures and practices to enhance Boeing operational philosophy and policy. FCOM is divided into two volumes FCOM volume 1 and FCOM volume 2. FCOM volume 1 includes operational limitations, normal procedures, supplementary procedures, dispatch performance data, and in-flight performance data. FCOM Volume 1 has preface which contains general information regarding the manual's purpose, structure and content. It also contains list of abbreviations and record of uh, revisions, bulletins and a list of effective pages. Limitations and normal procedure chapters cover operational limitations and normal procedures. All operating procedures are based on a thorough analysis of crew activity required to operate the airplane and reflect the latest knowledge and experience available. Supplementary procedures chapter cover those procedures accomplished as required rather than routinely on each flight. Performance dispatch chapter contains performance information necessary for self-dispatch and performance in-flight chapter contains information necessary for in-flight use. In FCOM Volume 2, Chapter 1 to 15 contains general airplane and system information. These chapters are generally subdivided into sections covering controls and indicators and system descriptions. Now let's see what Flight Crew Training Manual is. FCTM is divided into 8 chapters. General Information, Ground Operations, Takeoff and Initial Climb, Climb, Cruise, Descent and Holding, Approach and Missed Approach, Landing, Maneuvers and Non-Normal Operations. Now let's find out what every chapter contains. General information covers procedures and techniques not associated with a particular maneuver or phase of flight such as operations philosophy, training objectives, crew resource management that CRM, command speed, thrust management etc etc. Ground operation cover information associated with airplane pre-flight, engine starting and taxi operations including taxi operations in adverse weather conditions. Chapter 3 to 6 are titled by phase of flight and contains information about airplane operation in each phase of the flight. The maneuver chapter covers maneuver associated with climb, cruise and descent that is approach to stall or stall recovery and rapid descent etc. The non-normal operations chapter cover non-normal situation that may occur during any phase of flight. Each of the chapter has a preface which describes the chapter in more detail. FCTM also contains two appendices. In Appendix A, Section 1, operational information is available for the operator to use as desired. It provides a convenient location to supplement the FCTM with operator-specific information. Whereas Appendix A, Section 2, which contains supplemental information for the operation staff of the organization rather than individual pilots. These are considerations for each operation to evaluate and use as they see fit for their operations. 
the operator may wish to remove this appendix before distributing the manual to their pilots. Apart from this, we must also keep this in mind that the FCTM is intended to provide information in support of procedures listed in the Flight Crew Operations Manual that is FCOM and techniques to help the pilot accomplish these procedures safely and efficiently. The FCTM is written in a format that is more general than FCOM. It does not account for airplane configuration differences unless these differences have an impact on the procedure or technique being discussed. For example, the FCTM states when the flaps are retracted to the desired position and the airspeed is at or above the flap maneuvering speed, ensure climb thrust is set. The statement is not intended to tell the crew how to set climb thrust, it only to emphasize that flight crew must ensure their climb thrust is set. It is recognized that crew actions required to set climb thrust are different in different models. A reference to the applicable FCOM is required in information on how to set climb thrust. It must be noted that in the event of conflict, the procedures and restrictions published in the FCOM, QRH, MMEL and MEL that is minimum equipment list or DDG take precedence over the information techniques and recommendations in the FCTM. Now let's talk about QRH which stands for Quick Reference Handbook. The QRH contains all checklists necessary for normal and non-normal procedures as well as in-flight performance data. On the front page, we have something named QAI or Quick Action Index, which covers all the very serious situations and checklists. These are also memory items. After you have completed any applicable memory items, you would use this QAI to access the checklist very quickly. The next pages of the QRH covers few chapters like first one being lights which covers situations associated to lights in the cockpit like any master caution light or any system light and then you have associated checklist for each. The next chapter is unannunciated. These are the items which have no lights associated with the issue in the cockpit. So things like ADSB out, failure or uh, ice crystal icing there is no associated light to indicate these situations. Next page covers all of the non-normal checklist. Chapter 0 to 15 covering all the technical aspects of the aircraft. After that, we have performance in flight data, which covers all the tables and charts associated with the performance of the aircraft. Then comes the maneuver section that teaches crew how to perform non-normal maneuvers like approach to stall and recovery, rejected takeoff, and more like uh, jet upset recovery, wind shear, escape maneuver, etc. The next chapter contains profile of the flight patterns like uh, takeoff, different type of approaches, ILS, VOR, etc the traffic pattern and the go around and missed approach profile. And most importantly, at the back of the QRH, evacuation checklist is given, which is not a memory item. It's a read and do checklist. So this is it, Aeronauts. We have covered a basic introduction to the manuals of Boeing 737NG. I have tried my best to cover all the important details, but I might have missed few or more things also. If you feel anything odd, please feel free to contact me via email or in the comments down below. I will definitely try to improve things in the next videos. Thank you for watching video and being with ATC. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more future updates. It would really help in growing this channel up. If you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and also share it to your friends and groups. Comment down below if you have any doubts or query or you can also email me at aeronaut.tc at the gmail.com for more updates, discussions and study material which is totally free always, please like our Facebook page with the same name as this channel, Aeronaut Training Center. Thank you and happy landings.